tell me, how much time do you think you spend on your phone in, on a daily basis? I work phone, I have my personal phone, I'm on two phones all day, and a laptop, and a Too much. I don't even want to disclose. All day, every day. Um, I, I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ajima Squad. Thank you for joining us today. Today, Joanne and I are going to deep dive into the virtual world and what is too much screen time, whether it be for you or your kids, and how can we avert ourselves and our children from being on the screen too much. Let's dive right in. So according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, they advise two hours a day for kids over two years old. And so with this current situation, with our current times, it's very hard to adhere to the two hours a day. And so we want to have this discussion because, you know, it's just a part of our life and it's not going to go away. The phone culture, living on the phone culture is not going to go away. So how do we... Manage it? How do, how do we make this easier for us? Let's be real, okay? After this whole quarantine, our kids have gone into a whole virtual model for school, right? I think your kids are still virtual 100%. My yeah. kids are hybrid, but even being hybrid, they take their tablets to school. Their learning is still on the tablet. Then they come home, their homework and their um, continued learning is still on the tablet. So if the American Academy of Pediatrics says two hours is a good limit for how long they should be on the screen, they're already beyond that limit by the time they get home. Mm -hmm. right? And then let's let's be real. Their fun time is on the screen, right? Mm -hmm. do, do your kids play Roblox and Minecraft yeah. and all these things? Their fun time is on the screen. I mean, so it's like, how do we limit that? I, I, I honestly don't know because literally I feel like my kids are on a screen. It, it can be a phone, a tablet, even TV. You know, it's sad that we don't even consider TV screen time anymore because they're on all these other devices. I mean, we try the best that we can, you know? <laughs> I mean, the AAP, the American Academy of Pediatrics says, lead by example. You I am not being a good example. <laughs> Tell you that right now. now. I... I don't even like to be on social media a lot of times. It's part of my job, so I have to be on social media a lot. But I don't like going on. Like, the things going on, like, around the world, like, it stresses me out. It gives me anxiety. So how do we minimize that, you know? You know, we live in an impulsive world, right? Once we think about something, we just want to get to the phone. And I think for us adults, as long as we kind of not be so impulsive i think that would be a great way to just kind of delay getting on the phone you know no i totally agree i i am a victim of that i am attached to my phone i'm attached to a laptop i'm attached to a phone we have to also remember that most of these apps they're designed so that you keep coming back you know they they're they're created so that uh you keep coming back you know i have a girlfriend who literally deleted all of her social media because she was just like it's too much for me and i have to say she didn't miss it I, I go from looking at a recipe to like spending hours on liking something and then finding and going shopping and getting so distracted you know it's so the rabbit holes the rabbit holes they get you i dive deep into those and i'm like it's 1 a.m why am i still up yes let's also remember that before these apps before the pandemic, before this virtual world that we live in, there was also a life that we lived. Before all these apps, before social media, before all of this, there was a life. We, we were still okay. Mm -hmm. And it was a wonderful life. It, there, it's okay. You, we don't have to be connected digitally and virtually to feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. If you have any ideas on how to get the kids off the screens, yeah, leave a comment below, DM us. We want to know your solutions because the hell we don't know what the hell we're doing either. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. So if you want to know something funny, I took a social media quiz. I mean, I took a quiz on BuzzFeed. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> and apparently my social media skills is equivalent to a 55 year old <laughs> aren't you the person who um this week was like i had an aha moment mm-hmm. i know how to use hashtags and i'm literally like i've been freaking trying to explain that to you for six months six months and you now have an aha moment kudos <laughs> to your girlfriend Let's hashtag it. Hashtag.